Good morning all. Uh, today we are going to discuss the expansion of sine raised to n theta in terms of uh, cos and sine of multiples angles. Uh, for that we uh, assume the result we have uh, just seen in the last sessions uh, that is x minus 1 by x is 2i sine theta. Uh, if we set x as x is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta then you will get the uh, 1 by x as uh, cos theta minus i sin theta by, by subtracting uh, 1 by x from x you will get the x, x minus 1 by x is equal to 2i sin theta. By, ta uh, by raising the power n on both sides you will get 2 raised to n i raised to n sin n theta whole raised to n equal to uh, x minus 1 by x whole raised to n. So, uh, now let's see how to get an expression for this sine raised to n theta from this equation. Uh, we know that uh, 2 i sine theta equal to x minus 1 by x. Then if we raising the power n on both sides, you will get 2 raised to n i raised to n uh, sine raised to sine theta raised to n that is sine and uh, sine raised to n theta equal to x minus 1 by x whole raised to n. So when we expand this term uh, the first term will be x raised to n. Uh, of course we can expand this uh, that is x raised to n uh, minus n c 1 times x raised to n minus 1 into 1 by uh, x plus n c 2 times uh, x raised to n minus 2 times 1 by x raised to 2 uh, minus so on. Then you will get this is equal to, now we can uh, set a case, two cases, case 1 uh, n is even Okay. In this case, we can get this uh, 2 raised to n uh, i raised to n uh, sine raised to n theta equal to uh, this will be uh, the, uh, the expansion will be like this that is x raised to n minus n times x raised to n minus 2 uh, plus n into n minus 1 divided by 1 times 2 into x raised to n minus 4 uh, minus etc. Uh, we know that the last term will be uh, that is the last term will be minus 1 raised to of course if n is even this contains exactly n plus 1 terms and order number of terms uh, if n is even the last term will be always positive uh, because this is mine the last term will be minus uh, 1 raised to n 1 by x raised to n. So, uh, since this n is even, we can group all these, uh, this contains a, a odd number of terms, then we can uh, start grouping these, these terms. You will get the first term will be x raised to n uh, plus 1 by x raised to n. Since the last term is always positive, since uh, n is even, this term will be positive. So, the, la the second term will be uh, negative minus n times uh, in bracket we have n x raised to n minus 2 uh, minus sorry plus uh, we already taken this minus sign out so we have plus here 1 by x raised to n minus 2 then plus we have n into n minus 1 divided by 1 into 2 times uh, x raised to n minus 4 plus 1 by x raised to n minus 4 and so on, so minus etc. So uh, this can be replaced by, you know that if x is, uh, we already uh, took an assumption that uh, x equal to uh, cos theta plus i sin theta and 1 by x will be cos theta minus i sin theta. Then when we write, uh, take the difference of these two x minus 1 by x, you will get uh, 2i sin theta. Uh, and if we add these two, we will get the uh, 
टू टाइम्स को सीधा सो एज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ दिस फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन राइट इट एज x रेज टू n इक्वल टू इक्वल टू वी हैव cos n थीटा प्लस i sin n थीटा बाय डिमोवेस थ्योरम sin n थीटा सो एज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस वी हैव 1 बाय x रेज टू n इक्वल टू cos n थीटा माइनस i sin n थीटा so we can replace this the the first bracket by two times uh cos n theta minus n times the next next time will be two times uh cos n minus 2 theta plus n into n minus 1 divided by 1 into 2 times it will be cos of uh, n minus 4 theta then what will be the uh, left side left side will be uh, two two raised to left side will be two raised to n uh, in this uh, i raised to uh, n can be written as minus 1 raised to uh, n by 2 because i is uh, root of minus 1 root of minus 1 is minus 1 raised to 1 by 2 all raised to n that will be minus 1 raised to n by 2 and this will be sin raised to n theta so from this you can get an expression for uh, sin raised to n theta by transposing these terms to the right by dividing uh, with 2 raised to n and to multiply with this minus 1 all raised to n by 2 again so the expression for sin raised to n theta will be 2 uh, of course this times or uh, when we transpose this to the right side you will get 1 by 2 raised to n Minus one raised to n by two times two cos n theta minus n times two uh, cos n minus two theta plus n times n minus one divided by one by one times two cos raised to uh, cos of n minus four theta uh, minus so on. Okay, so this is the expansion or expression for sine raised to n theta in a series of uh, cos n theta or cos of multiple angles. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, case one. Uh, in case two, we will see the uh, expansion of sine raised to n theta in terms of uh, sine and cos of multiple angles uh, if n is uh, odd. Okay. In this case, the case uh, two, we assume. Uh, We assume n is an odd number. So n is odd. If n is odd, uh, this uh, again we start with the uh, expression that two uh, raised to n i raised to n sine raised to n theta equal to. X minus one by x whole ratio. And start with this. Uh, here we have uh, the last. What, what is the last term? That's the first thing. Uh, the last term will be minus. Last term will be. Last term is the expansion of x minus one by x whole ratio. And the last term will be minus one by x raised to n. And if we consider in the last term, we have uh, uh, on the left side, we need to consider i raised to n. Uh, but we know that n is odd, so this i raised to n can be written as i times i raised to n minus one. So this n minus one is always even. So that will be i times minus one raised to n minus one by two. So so the LHS will be two raised to n. Uh, this can be written as i raised to minus one raised to n minus one by two. Uh, sin raised to n theta and this will be x raised to n minus n times x raised to n minus 1 times 1 by x raised to 1 plus uh, n into n minus 1 by 1 into 2 times x raised to n minus 2 And one by x square uh, minus etc. What is the last term? What last term will be minus one by x raised to n 
Now we group the first and last term, then that you will get x raised to n minus 1 by x raised to n. Then if you take minus and out, the second term and second last term can be grouped. That will give x raised to n minus 2 uh, minus 1 by x raised to n minus 2 plus n times n minus 2 times sorry, n minus 1 times n minus 1 times minus 1 n into n minus 1 n into n minus 1 divided by 1 times 2 bracket will be x raised to n minus 4 minus 1 by x raised to n minus 4 and minus etc. Then the first bracket can be replaced by 2 times i times sine and theta minus n times this can be replaced by 2 times i times sin n minus 2 theta plus n into n minus 1 divided by 1 into 2 this can be re this bracket can be replaced by 2 times uh, i times uh, sin n minus 4 theta minus etc okay so what is the LHS LHS will be 2 raised to n i raised to i times uh, minus 1 raised to n minus 1 by 2 sine raised to n theta. From this you can get an expression for sine raised to n theta if n is odd. If n is odd, uh, you can take this 2 out from all these terms. Uh, then you can cancel that with this 2 raised to 1. So the LHS will be written as 2 raised to 1 minus 1. That, is, uh, that are all simple uh, calculations. So you can do it. Uh, right here. So uh, this minus 1 and i can be transposed to two right side or another way you can cancel this i from all these terms. We can take i out then cancel with this i. Then uh, these terms, uh, these two raised to n and i can be simplified in some, man some manner. So the right side will be the expression expansion for sine raised to n theta in terms of sine and theta, sine and minus 2 theta etc. if n is odd.